Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Well, we haven't talked about aggressive growth stocks in a while, so let's do that now with Bill Wilton, our aggressive growth stock analyst at Zacks.com. And uh, you've brought a couple of ideas to us as far as aggressive growth stock picks uh, that you've been looking at. Mm -hmm. Harbin Electric, H-R-B-N, the ticker symbol, is one of them. They make electric motors. Yeah, what they do is they provide uh, various types of motors, rotary, inline, um, all sorts of, of smaller motors for... Uh, things like manufacturing facilities, uh, transportation industry, medical devices, uh, you know, and, and much more. There's a lot of different areas that they provide, um, you know, products to so that they can actually make their product or that actually go directly into whatever product that, you know, some other industry is using. But for the Chinese market, though. Correct. They, they do uh, operate in China. I don't know if you've heard, but their uh, economy is doing pretty well lately. It's kind of a Kind of a big story this year. Um, so exclusively in China. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but they uh, they just reported quarterly results on November 10th, uh, which actually included uh, a company record for revenue. Um, net income was up 41 percent. Earnings per share came in at 40 40 cents, which was about double mm -hmm. uh, the Zach's consensus estimate going into the announcement. That was their third consecutive surprise. As you can imagine, uh, estimates started going up uh, after such a great quarter. We're looking at a full year estimate for this year, dollar uh, sixty one. That's up thirty three cents. Should be a growth rate of thirty five percent this year if that level's met. Next year, analysts are expecting another twenty seven percent in year over year growth. The other nice thing about it is that it's a great value still. Um, China has been pretty inflated uh, for much of the year, uh, but this company's trading at about uh, twelve to thirteen times forward earnings. Their peg ratio uh, is just point six, which means you know, not only are you getting the growth at a reasonable price, but e even if the growth wasn't there, the fact that they're trading at that uh, forward PE means there's still a, a good inherent value there. Um, following that earnings uh, announcement that I had mentioned, the shares spiked um, quite a bit, but they have stabilized uh, recently. So right here I've highlighted a level which I'm imagining will, will form into some level of support, mm -hmm. um, probably bounce around there uh, before the next move up. All right, and DeVry has come up on your radar screen, DV, mm -hmm. the ticker symbol. It's a stock that keeps coming up from time to time in yeah. a variety of uh, investment categories. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, like China, ed the education uh, area is hot, especially these for-profit uh, companies. Uh, you know, people are unemployed. They're looking to bolster their resume, mm -hmm. uh, you know, change careers, do whatever they can, uh, you know, to get back out there in the job market. Um, so they offer, you know, not just uh, the DeVry name everyone is pretty familiar with, but they also do professional, or, or pardon me, Becker professional education um, is something that you may have heard of, as well as a few other. So they've teamed uh, up with them now? Uh, well, that's part of their company. Oh, um, I see. So, you, I mean, there's, there's quite a different, uh, quite a few different uh, educational names that are associated with DeVry that, you know, you may or may not have heard. Mm -hmm. um, they also reported quarterly results this time on October 10th. Revenue was up 42% for them. Net income uh, was up 52%. You know, so they're having, um, you know, as their CEO actually said in the uh, earnings announcement, that they're having exceptional revenue growth, mainly because they're uh, able to get a lot of new students. And more importantly, those new students that they do get, they're retaining at a higher level than they ever have before. So things are going very well for them. Estimates are up. Um, and like the previous stock, uh, they're also a good value. Um, these guys are trading at about 17 times forward earnings, uh, which is pretty good considering where the market and especially that industry is at. Their uh, peg ratio is just under one, which is what most people consider a, a fair value as 1.0. So at 0.9, uh, there is a bit of value in there. And the Zach's target estimate was just raised to uh, $66 a share. So they definitely have plenty of room to grow. Uh, they're trading about $53, $54 uh, right now. Um, this last chart that I have uh, just kind of shows you how their uh, full year consensus estimates have been climbing consistently for the past five years. Uh, and most notably, you can see how the estimates have pulled away from the share price. Uh, so that gives you a good idea of the upside potential um, here for this share price. You know, when estimates are going up like that, um, eventually people are going to, you know, just decide that there's there's too much earnings there and start bidding up that share price. Right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. If you want to take a look at more stock pick ideas, 
applying the Zacks Rank by methodology to them, then get over to the upper right-hand corner of our homepage on Zacks.com because there, each day, we put four new Zacks Rank by stock pick ideas or suggestions for you. With Bill Wilton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.